So our objectives this morning are to review the node status coding principles, to review some exceptions and disease specific chapters for P, N category, and any X. Please note that this presentation was written using the AJCC Cancer Staging Manual, 8th edition. Please be aware of available updates and changes. Node Status Coding Principles. Chapter 1, AJCC Principles of Cancer Staging, 8th edition. Page 21 is where you'll find this information. If you're using a Kindle version, it's on page 40. The node status is not required in rare circumstances. If not determined to be positive for tumor, the N category should be designated as a CN0. This is identified in specific chapters, and X may be listed as a category as well. The assignment of the CN0 ensures that there's no confusion with cases where nodes were microscopically proven to not contain tumor or PN0. Some examples would be the bone and soft tissue sarcoma, where CN0 may be used for pathologic stage group PT1, CN0, CM0, and also for melanoma. CN0 may be used for pathological PT1 and PTIS, or pathological stage group 0. And here's our first example. On 3-30-21, mammogram slash ultrasound of the left breast, there was a mass 1.7 centimeters at one o'clock position, no lymphadenopathy. On 4-9-21, there was a left breast biopsy, positive for DCIS. On 6-15-21, a lumpectomy was performed, however, no sentinel node biopsy or axillary node dissection. Lumpectomy path report indicates DCIS as well with a tumor size of seven millimeters. Low grade on both biopsy and resected specimens. What is the correct pathologic TNM stage? Is it A, P, T, I, S, C, N, zero, C, M, zero, or a group zero? B, P, T, I, S, P, N, X, C, M, O, group 99. C, P, T, I, S, N blank, C, M, O, or group 99, or D, P blank, C, N, O, C, M, O, group 99. If you could make your selection now, please. And if we could close the poll to get to the answer. So the correct pathologic TNM stage is a PTIS CNO CMO group zero. And the reason is this. For an in situ neoplasia, stage zero does not require node evaluation for pathologic classification. This is listed in the AJCC 8th edition, page 26. For our next example, bladder. On 115.21, a cystoscopy shows a mass patient scheduled for a TURB. On 129.21, the TURB path reveals non-invasive papillary urothelial carcinoma. On March 3rd, 21, the patient undergoes a partial cystectomy. No lymph nodes are assessed. The path specimen reveals non-invasive papillary urothelial carcinoma. What is the correct pathologic TNM stage? Is it A, P, T, A, P, N, X, CMO group 99, B, P, T, A, C, N, O, C, M, O group 0, C, P, T, A, C, N, O, C, M, O group 0, A, or D, P, T, I, S, N blank, M blank group 99. And if we could open the poll, and I'm not sure on the last example if everybody was able to see that or not.
Okay. Are we able to see the poll? I'm not sure. Yes, we are. We are. Okay. If we want to go ahead and look at that. I don't see it on my screen, Courtney. Okay, we shared the results, and it looks like uh, the majority of everyone chose C. C. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to the answer. Thank you. The correct pathologic TNM stage is C. For a non-invasive bladder, stage 0A, non-invasive papillary carcinoma identified in surgical resection meeting the criteria for pathologic stage is assigned as PTA-CNO-CMO pathological stage 0A. Move on to our next example for melanoma. 6-17-20. Skin of left arm shave biopsy reveals superficial spreading melanoma. Pathological exam shows no clinically detected lymphadenopathy. On 7 9 20, there was a lot, excuse me, a wide local excision. Path specimen reveals tumor diameter of 1.3 centimeters, no lymph nodes examined. What is the correct pathologic TNM stage? Is it A, PT1, PNX, CMO? Group 99, or B, PT1, BNO, CMO, Group 1, C, PT1, PNO, CMO, Group 1, or D, PT1, N blank, M blank, Group 99. And Courtney, if you could open the poll, please. And if you could close the poll and share the results, please. Okay, it looks like it's kind of 81% uh, B and 19% A. Okay, let's check our answer. What is the correct pathologic TNM stage? It is B, PT1, CNO, CMO, group one. On page 57 in the AJCC 8th edition, chapter 47 for melanoma, there's an exception to the N category. When there are no clinically detected regional metastases and a PT1 CMO assigned CNO instead of PNX. Pathologic stage zero and pathological T1 without clinically detected regional or distant met PTIS, PT1, C, N, O, C, M, O, do not require pathological evaluation of lymph nodes to complete pathological staging. Use the C, N, O to assign the pathological stage. So our next and final example is for endometrium. The patient presented to the emergency department with a swollen leg. The workup revealed the following. On 1 20 of 20, there was a CT of the abdomen and pelvis, a large mass was suspicious for a gin malignancy. On 121.20, also a CT chest was negative. On 25 of 20, the patient undergoes a TAH BSO. The surgical path specimen reveals endometrioid adenocarcinoma. What is the correct pathologic TNM stage? Is it A, PT1A, PNX, CM0, group 99, B, PT1A, P blank, CMO, group 99, C, PT1A, PNO, CMO, group 1A, or D, PT1A, CNO, CMO, or group 1A. If you could open the poll, please. Okay. 
poll is open. And if we'll close the poll and provide the answer, provide the results, I'm sorry. So this one's tough. Um, we have A with 20%, B with 33%, C, 7%, and D, 40%. It looks like B and D were kind of the tiebreaker here, so I'll let you uh, explain. Okay, thank you. So our answer for the correct pathological TNM stage is not A, not B, not C, but it is D. It is PT1A, CNO, CMO, group 1A. For this information, you'll reference page 50, I'm sorry, chapter 53, page 673, in your Kindle version, page 692. When the surgical pathological findings are insufficient, the clinical T and the clinical N and the clinical C or P M categories should be used on the basis of the clinical evaluation. Because there were no nodes identified in the clinical evaluation, you would use the C N value. This instruction also applies in chapter 54 for the corpus uterine sarcoma. So no further, further polls, but I do have some additional information. For soft tissue sarcomas, chapter 39, page 493, nodal involvement is rare in adult soft tissue sarcomas. For assigning stage group, patients whose nodal status is not determined to be positive for tumor, either clinically or microscopically, designate as N0. If microscopically determined for the pathological stage, designate as PN0. If clinically determined by physical exam or imaging for the pathological stage, it would be designated as a CN0 and not PNX. And finally, for the thyroid, chapter 73, any N includes PN0, PN1, PNX, CN0, or C1 disease. Pathologic confirmation of lymph node status is not required for staging purposes. Patients with PNX who are CN0 are classified as P, excuse me, CN0 slash PNX in the staging tables. And I just highlighted a few of the selections in the staging table that you'll find within the chapter that any N is identified and you still see that there is a group associated with even an NX. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the examples. Um, the polls were great to be able to see what kind of answers everybody had. I hope this was educational and beneficial for you. Everybody have a great day.